This technique demonstrates an arthroscopic meniscal repair of a longitudinal with inferior vertical meniscus tear using ConMed's Infinity Aim meniscal repair device and the Infinity Aim suture cutter. To begin, create vertical portal incisions for improved joint access. Use ConMed's Lanza Shaver Blade, available in straight or pre-bent 15-degree curve options, to clear the soft tissue and resect frayed edges along the tear. Using a meniscal rasp, rasp the meniscus near the tear to stimulate blood flow and healing, continuing until blood is seen on the repair site to increase healing potential. The Infinity Aim 25 standard degree curve option is used to close the superior gap and compress the upper part of the meniscus. With the adjustable sheath fully covering the needle, insert the Infinity Aim device through the working portal. The adjustable sheath allows this step to be done without the need for a meniscal sled. Start on the posterior horn. Position the device close to the tear and pull the white sleeve adjuster back to the desired depth using your pointer finger or thumb. The adjustable sheath now exposes the needle. Then pierce through the capsule. The trigger will automatically reset and load the first implant for deployment. Then withdraw the needle from the meniscus, pulling the needle back with enough suture slack to reach the next piercing location. Pierce through the meniscus and capsule using the black trigger to deploy the second implant. To preserve the anatomy of the meniscus, a blunt pushrod will automatically extend past the needle after the second implant has been deployed. The red wheel will now be used for in-joint tensioning. Use your thumb to reel in the suture slack and hold the red wheel to tighten the repair as you pull back within the joint space. Repeat this step until the construct fully cinches down into a flat suture bridge. An optimal fixation has been achieved. Pull the Infinity A meniscal repair device fully out of the knee and working portal. Then use the suture cutter to cut the suture. Load the blue 2O suture tail into the AIM suture cutter threader and then pull the gray tab to load the suture through the eyelid of the cutter. Insert the cutter into the joint in the same orientation as your incision and follow the suture down to the implant location. During insertion, it is recommended to hold the suture cutter from one side to prevent early actuation of the blade. Place the tapered peak tip nose as close as possible to the construct and move your fingers into a handshake-like grip under the bottom of the handle. Then gently squeeze to cut the suture. A second Infinity Aim device will be used on the superior aspect of the meniscus. By cinching the superior part of the tear first, it allows the meniscus to flip proximally and allow visualization of the inferior side of the tear. The inferior part of the meniscus tear is now exposed. The Infinity Aim 15-degree reverse curve will now be used as it facilitates access to the inferior part of the meniscus. Position the device close to the tear and use your pointer finger or thumb to pull the white sleeve adjuster back to the desired depth, exposing the needle. With the Infinity Aim Reverse Curve, lift the meniscus up and slide underneath it. Pierce through the capsule and deploy your implant. After the implant is deployed, pull the needle back out of the meniscus with enough suture slack to reach the next piercing position. Pierce the next location through the meniscus and capsule while still being on the inferior part of the meniscus. After the implant is deployed, pull the needle and use the red wheel to tension. Close the superior gap by fully tensioning and cinching down the inferior implants, allowing for a top-to-bottom compression. Once the desired tension has been achieved, cut the suture to complete your repair.